Right. Okay, guys, you know that I'm bored. That's why I'm building an industrial board. And as a border to the board, I want to have a vertical board. Uh, so that's a photo backdrop and a playable surface. And I want to blend sheets out the fuck out of it. I'm drawing inspiration for a lot of things. I'm finding wonderful greeblies all over Thingiverse and all over Gold's 3D and all over CG Trader. And I'm taking every free STL just like I, I want to show you my free STL, but I just haven't found out in OBS how to fill my desktop yet. Probably very easy, can't do it yet. But I have thousands of files and I'm combining them in a program called Tinkercut, as I've uh, shown you in uh, two previous videos. And I'm, I'm just making STLs that I can print off. And yeah, they'll be the basis for my vertical board. What I want to do is I want to create like a terrace uh, shape, if, you, if that means something to you. I want to just create like a, a stairs, like layered thing that goes up and backwards and down and everywhere. And it's going to be super chaotic. It's going to be over a meter wide. And it's going to be like, I don't know, easily 60 centimeters high. And uh, it's going to be fucking amazing. So on Thingiverse, I'm building all these, uh, sorry, on, on Tinkercad, I'm building all these things. And uh, some of the things that I build, I list as a remix on Thingiverse because uh, I want to have other people also be able to print all the cool files that I've been printing lately. And I make these modifications, right? Because so, like, I, I might start with this bulkhead right here that's like mirrored and I cut it in half so it it takes hot glue really well on the back and then I'm, I'm like okay but other hobbyists might also want a single-sided object uh, instead of a double-sided object so then I upload it right or I, I create this from a Inquisition logo that I found and I combine it with like the closed door thing uh, or uh, I put this barricade behind the open door right or in front of a door so it looks closed off so I got all these different variations going on here and on Thingiverse, let me say, oh sorry, Tinkercad, Thingiverse, Tinkercad, Tinker, Tinkerverse, <laughs> not funny, okay, uh, I just make bulkheads, man, I make walls, I make bulkhead walls, gothic, I just showed you these, I made these, uh, and today I made these, and as you can see, I called it Shibboleth O2. I'll show you in a second why I did that. Because uh, I'm drawing inspiration from this uh, super insane Instagram account. There's a builder called Shibboleth O2. And dude makes the sickest blunt shih tzu, uh, boards you have ever seen. If you're, if you're not following him yet on Insta, you should, should definitely should. So uh, what the man does is he uses all these beautiful games workshop uh wall pieces and floor pieces and then he hacks them up with like spaceship bits and and greeble from all kinds of different kits but like he, he obviously he either spends thousands of euros on bits or he just has a collection of a lifetime that i'm nowhere near so uh i gotta make do with uh like a, a 30 dollar bottle of resin and uh, some sdls but hey hey this is creative too don't judge me Okay, so what I do is I just, um, yeah, I just take these walls, just make a wall, like a basic uh, shape, and I put some uh, greeble on there. Choo, bam! And then I probably get a lot of comment in the, or like a lo lot of reactions in the, in the comments uh, that I say greeble too much, but dude, the word is just awesome. Love that word. So, and then uh, I might wanna, might wanna put this on there. This, uh, I don't want to have it stick out on the back end Ooh, because it needs to lay flat against the wall because I am cheap and I'm going to use a lot of foam core. Uh, maybe I want, uh, I don't know, I want this uh, this thing here. I want it to be against the wall. Let me find if I can flip it. I can, I can probably flip it if I click 90 there and I was like, oh, and there and it was. Uh, Super sexy, I see what I do is I, oh, and I put it in the wall. And now I have a super nice wall. And this is going to save me a shit, metric shit tons of money. Metric shit tons of money. If I had to buy the stuff that Mr. Shibboleth is buying, then I'd go bankrupt. 
it a hot bit. And we wouldn't want that now. I have two children to feed. And I am poor as fuck. Uh, because I spend a lot of money. Not because I don't earn anything. I'm just not good with cash. Okay. So. Right? Right? Looks right. Looks nice, right? So that's what I've been uh, doing uh, for the past couple of evenings. My spare time. My spare time. I've been creating these little pieces that I can just print off and uh, slide together. I made a couple of like this one, right? Super nice. And, uh, I made that. And I just like cut this thing here in half. It's an SDL that I found. Just cut it in half, smack it against the wall, change the scale, add a little bit of grable in there. I said it again. And uh, that's how we do. That's how we do. So let me show you some uh, work uh, that Mr. Shibboleth has done. His name is Shibboleth02. Uh, should definitely follow the man. Uh, insane projects. Look at this. Insane projects. Lights, red kebab. Fucking insane. All this Necromunda Zomortalis stuff going on there. Listen, I'm going to show you some pictures. And this man is spending literally thousands of euros or dollars or pounds or uh, valuta. He's uh, spending guap. He's, uh, yeah, guala. He's throwing it all over the place. Cause I guess this is your hobby and, it, and hobbies cost something, yeah. So not only a wonderful uh, kit basher for terrain, he's also an insane converter for models. And he has nailed the blunt shih tzu style. It's fucking amazing. Super crazy with this weathering. Look at these, these colors. Look at this. Oh, this gate. And there's like wires going everywhere. And little speakers coming out of the wall. Just very rich, very immersive compositions. It's, uh, yeah. Don't know what to say, man. This is a master at work. Little posters. I love doing posters. Like the floor has details. Man. And then the orange and white. They go together so nice. It's like consistent throughout the whole uh, build. This build uh, is called Lesotho. Uh, and then some numbers. Uh, I'll see if I can find the full name for this build later. It's a very... Um, consistent looking board and it's, it's so grimy this is what it looks like before painting see just all these bulkheads all these little generators speakers again or like ventilation pipes everything is it fits so well together and this this board is really scary this is a very modular board you can move it everywhere this is just like this is a floor tile necromunda floor tile and this is just some styrene tubes probably and some eye beams maybe something you got of like a i don't know i imagine this to hold like five uh, pieces of socks or a couple of uh, underwear like and tear plating rivets rivets up the wahoo wazoo <laughs> lolly sticks bent over just like all the fine the finer greeble in life yeah the more sophisticated brand of Greeble. One might oh, speak of gubbins. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, just let it sink in. Well, there's so many pictures that I want to show you guys, but I think it's best that you go to uh, Mr. Shibboleth O2's Instagram and just follow him. Where is it? Lesotho 212, that's the name of the board. Yeah, Lesotho 212. And he's, I think he's using it for uh, Inquisition uh, 28 and for Necromunda. Look at this. And he's making tile after tile after tile. And he has these cool etched Aquilas, man. Where do you get etched Aquilas? Oh, never mind, my brain is hurting. And just plastic craft, also very good at plastic craft, like all these. Perfectly cut strips of plastic everywhere, little tiles, things on the floor, just uh, trip and break your neck over, or lose a couple of toenails, right? 
these these cool cabins like insane like a, a like a centerpiece for a Zomortalis board is just a corner for him right so he's just I, I imagine he has a soldering iron or something with a with a knife stuck in there and he's just cutting up all these all these model kits to perfection like bring things to the table that even games workshop couldn't have imagined and then the painting man fuck just going to go through this really really fast like water effects little mutant crocodile seahorses the cables like oh, and the salt weathering chipping hairspray chipping all these crazy vallejo rust effects and so gangster it's so gangster chevron chevron i think these are little mosaic tiles or something very small yeah let's go through this really fast uh, you guys can find uh, find your way through his insta this is so inspiring so i want to i want to oh this is the board that we showed just earlier with that corner piece here yeah that's how he builds it up and then it all comes together when he puts paint on it fucking amazing so so like I don't, i'm not going to imitate this but it's definitely an inspiration for what i want to do i just want to create these like layers but i'm doing it vertically so i'm going to go like terrace by terrace by terrace and then finally it goes up for like two three layers of stairs and madness and ramparts and ramps and yeah man. look at that hallway like there's like there's floor missing here there's just tubes in the floor like and, and he's not doing the same floor everywhere it looks so like haphazardly thrown together by years of different technical crews making difficult different repairs choosing different materials but then the paint job ties it all together it's just imagine playing fucking airsoft in a room with like in a building like this man it would uh, i would die for that look at this oh, oh all these cool little terminals and crazy control panels and uh, that looks like it might be 3d printed who knows this is definitely official kit loads of official kit like i i don't i don't see any mantic bits i don't see any mantic bits or i'm not literate enough to recognize all types of mantic bits yeah insane racks of skulls like it's a shrine dude the styrene work on this is also mind blowing and he makes them stackable for storage and that's also fun if you want to play multi-level i guess if you can reach in there it's probably going to be hard to play in there but yeah guitar string and he's looping them through pieces of lollipop uh, tube marvelous So there's a lot of little techniques here to uh, yeah to try and uh, adopt and then visually uh, I'm going to go for like rust and deterioration but I'm not going for the go for, going to go for these bright colors I'm, I'm, just a, I'm a person that loves uh, yeah just dirt gotta be dirty so uh, yeah focus on Mr. Shibleth follow that shit and then uh, on Griebling, right? Oh, let me show you what I did to the Emperor of Mankind since last you saw him. My designs, I need to go to my designs. Uh, and the picture won't load, I don't know why. But I'm on my fourth version for the Emperor. I'm on my fourth version. Let's look at this man in 3D. This is going to take a while. So I left some instructions here for like, if you print it, make sure to bring bucket loads of green stuff and a guitar string because a uh, man's not done. Okay, so what I did when I printed a, a test uh, version of this, uh, it came loose at the edges. The edges were flailing of the throne. So what I did is I added uh, some uh, basic shapes in there to like, make boolean unions 
so to say, with the bass. So I hope that helps uh, stop the warp there. Also, what happened uh, was uh, these eagle. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to call them buttresses. I don't want to call them boil cats. But these eagle details, they came out so. Im immensely thin i was afraid that they were going to snap off so i uh, backed those up with a block and then on the back there were loads of cables but it just looked yeah it looked weird right so what i did is i added the little joke in the back just have it fun like having a little bit of fun there's an arcade there uh probably the right size for a astra militarum unit or a, yeah definitely the right size for a space marine there's a control panel there all the yeah deck priests and there's some cables here at the bottom here I have a hard time showing you guys okay there it is okay. there's some cables at the back you still see from the previous build there's a panel on this side there's a cool terminal on this side and I thought the floor was very bland so I added a little bit of uh, dare I say it, Griebel <laughs> on the bottom and I uh, obscured details because I thought like hey, okay, over the years things uh, eh, they change and I thought this was uh, like interesting moving this backwards into the shape and then letting it stick out just a little bit extra at the edge highlight or to do some uh, rust details on and yeah added skulls on the back this block is still there that was there last time so if i'm going to print that i'm not going to hollow this block because it's a nightmare if you punch some drain holes here somehow cheeto box thinks that it should create like the outside of the cylinder shape and then you add up with an extra cylinder there and it looks like shit. so i'm going to leave this massive and i'm going to uh, hollow out the base so it's not a 10 dollar block of resin And then this this situation here uh, this is very hard to support this leg for some reason it's probably the position in which i printed it so i can try tilting him uh, as is now it's a six dollar print in resin costs i'm not talking about the cost of uh, the replacement of the uv screen eventually or uh, I'm not talking about all those costs that factor in or time whatever right I'm just talking about resin costs this is a six dollar build right now if i uh shrink it down to 35 percent because otherwise it wouldn't fit on the build plate and it wouldn't be in scale it's just super large for me to build on right it's okay so and this foot man so the whole knee was missing here like only the knee was there sorry and the whole uh, calf and shin and foot was missing so i need to find a maybe I need to get into Cheeto box, box, put some supports right there under the heel, maybe. Uh, maybe I need to go, get in there, and maybe add some supports from this forward face into his uh, thigh. His left leg game came out okay, and then all of this is going to be covered by cloth and uh, like a, a robe. I'm going to green stuff that. And the sword was very, very thin. So thin that I'm, I'm afraid of clipping off the supports. I'm just afraid that it will break. So I need to find a way to make the sword bulkier without making it look ugly. And then once printed, it's so small. You don't even see this gap here. This gap is uh, non-existent after the print and you can't see his back at all. Uh, so yeah, that's not something to put hours of work in. I'll just add a little bit of just like the tiniest slither of green stuff over there and then uh, that should be fine so that's what i'm uh, doing hobby wise uh, i'll keep you updated on my uh, industrial board i'll keep you updated on the vertical board once i start building but my first uh, order of business is to print out as many of these mothers as i can i'm also downstairs experimenting right now with casting them after i print them because printing like four of these on a print bed on an elegu mars elegu mars is very small very small print bed it's like 7 by 12 by 15 centimeters or something like just uh 
doing that from uh, the top of my mind, those numbers that don't pin me on them. But you can do like four of these uh, walls, sections, maybe five if you're lucky, and that takes nine hours. So that's not that's not not the way forward. And then every build would be like uh, like five of these plates would be eight euros. So I could get maybe uh, five of those build plates for yeah four or five uh, of those build plates out of one bottle of resin, and that would be like a goddamn waste of my money. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some molds with silicone caulking. Hopefully that works and then I'm going to fill them with hot glue because hot glue takes detail like nobody's business uh, I'll let you guys know how that works out and if that doesn't work I'll just use I don't know plaster or resin or something else. I don't want to spend too much money Okay, so that's it. So that's it um, Thanks for watching if you uh, like the video then uh, please subscribe if you uh, let me know in the comment if you think uh, that uh, Shibboleth is fucking awesome, just uh, just leave that there. And if you think my builds are fucking nice, then leave uh, that there. If you think I, I'm an absolute piece of shit, that's also some feedback I, I can use to better my life with. Uh, yeah, thanks for your attention and your interaction and your engagement and <laughs> your general interest in Warhammer. I uh, love sharing that with you guys. Thank you for suffering my uh, accent. And uh, as always, bis nächste Mal. Westside.